Widow's solo movie will feature a familiar face as the film's villain, and you'll never guess who! Is it the Winter Soldier? No! Wait, yes, but how'd you know that? Uh, it's in the video's title and the thumbnail, Wit. Damn it, I wanted to be a surprise! Thumbnails are why we can't have nice things! I'm Chris Carr. And I'm Winnie Van Lanningham, and this is No Fun Surprises Wire! <laughs> Even though I'm trying to focus all my hype on Infinity War, this Black Widow movie has been a long time coming, and I'm pretty excited. Seriously, the fact that DC gave us Wonder Woman before Marvel will even confirm for sure that a Black Widow movie is in the works speaks volumes. So this hasn't been confirmed? No, not technically, but it's the biggest open secret in Hollywood. I mean, okay, it's not as big as John Travolta being gay and closeted by the Church of Scientology, so maybe it's Hollywood's second biggest open secret. Black Widow has been an integral part of every Avengers mission. Hello, she's the only one who convinced the Hulk to take a nap. But Marvel's so far given almost every major Avenger a solo movie or two, or three, before they even considered giving Black Widow her own. And it's not for lack of material. They've been hinting at Natasha Romanoff's intense past and little snippets peppered in nearly every Avengers movie. Remember that part in Winter Soldier when she admitted that she'd had a near-fatal run-in with Bucky in the past? We might be getting to see that now. Rumor has it that Bucky Barnes will return in an unannounced Black Widow movie, which would be so badass. Oh, I really hope they end up banging y'all. There'd be so much Soviet love going around. Sebastian Stan even joked in an interview he did with Anthony Mackie that he's gonna marry Black Widow. Ooh, let's start planning her wedding. It's gonna take place in an ice palace in Russia, obviously. Vodka everywhere. Natasha will perform ballet at the reception. Hawkeye can walk her down the aisle. Let's get you down the aisle first, bud. Okay, that makes sense. If I had to plan her seating chart right now, I would lose it! Yeah, you really couldn't put the Winter Soldier at the same table as Iron Man. And you probably shouldn't invite those two-timing bitches Pepper or Jane Foster, just to be nice to Thor and Tony. No one should have to run into an ex at a wedding. Pretty sure Black Widow would still be strapped, so I think we're good. Although Say Yes to the Dress Avengers Edition would make for amazing reality TV, I think they'd be safer sticking to a Black Widow origin story for this one. Aaron talks about that right now. The Black Widow movie might just be a prequel that takes place where Iron Man 2 left off. Maybe we'll get to take a little break from Marvel Phase 4 and go back to a simpler time before Infinity War dominated our waking existence. Another Black Widow storyline I'm dying to find out about is what the hell happened when she and Hawkeye went to Budapest. You can't just make all these cool side references in the Avengers and not deliver a kick-ass Natasha Romanoff movie. Exactly! And that's why Scarlett Johansson is set to produce and star in the movie. Girlfriend deserves a little creative control and a bigger paycheck. And she definitely deserves to make out with Sebastian Stan and his gorgeous flowing locks at least once. Oh, we're so not passing the Bechdel test with our hopes for this movie. <laughs> are you excited to see what happens with the Black Widow solo film rumors? Yeah, which storyline from the comics or hints from the movie do you want to see played out on the big screen? Give us your best Black Widow fan theories in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe to Nerdwire. Or you can tweet us on the old tweeter at Nerdwire HQ. How did we get through this whole script without saying the thing? I don't know, because neither of us got that mad. I think we're both just happy that we're getting a female Marvel solo movie. Okay, get mad at me really quick. I'm so mad! Hey, big guy. Sun's going down. <laughs> Sun's getting real low. Shit! Sun's getting real low! <laughs> oh, God damn it!